Good morning, Friday the 15th of March 2019, time 06.40 hours, Greenwich Mean Time. This is where I stayed overnight, cars parked over there, and there's quite a lot of weather around, it's breezy, and then I'm off this way. Uh, first stop, first stop, cost of coffee, obviously. Post Costa and my bacon roll and cappuccino. Food case drink because the bar doesn't open until 9 o'clock. It's a start. Did I say the King's Fee? <laughs> King's Fee. So I've run out of Uniques. And I've probably had this before. This is Hot Goblin Gold. 4.2% alcohol by volume. Uh, what is Imperial Open? Or oh, Hogarth's? Oh, I have no idea. Anyway, it'll probably be about 10 o'clock. A bit of carpet for Mr. Man. Who knew? Nicely fruity and refreshing. And a fruity finish finish. Thank you. In plus in a bit, I should have said. More beer. And it's, it's grey now. Anyway, Stonebridge pub, I think. Cascale. Uh, Lancer by Goff's Glory. 3.8% alcohol by volume. Sessionable. Mm, carpet for Mr. Manning. Table 39 just in case I have food, which probably would be chips. Um, Swedish malt with uh, um, not tea. I'm gonna give that a B because they look really nice. Although. I'm not clearing. Never mind. I'm going to struggle with this one, not because of the name of the brewery, which is the Bristol Beer Factory, but with the name of the beer, Mutera, M O U T E R E. It's an Antipodean pale ale. Mutira, I think, is the hop. Raku and Enigma. Enigma is definitely a hop. 4.2% alcohol by volume. That's where all the stuff is. Cask, keg, bottles, ciders, cans. Anyway, little wooden floor in Mr. Manning. It's malty and then it's sort of gently fruity, refreshing hoppiness. Keep us in a bit. I'm not sure if you call this the West Country, I'd just call it Herefordshire. Anyway, we're quite close to Bristol, so this is lost and grounded. I want to go to the sun. Equinot and Citra Pale Ale, 4.6% alcohol by volume. Lunch. A little wood. Oh, there goes the beer mat. Mm. That is. Getting a lot of grapefruit there. That's hugely refreshing. That is great. That's a that's a B plus plus. Yeah, well, I can't get it straight. I was going to go to the Firefly, but that can be next time. Great news: no egg chasing in the Hereford Beer House. Well, yes. Um, and the tap takeover has started. 
And I've started as well. Um, the White Hag. There you go. And this is Little Fawn, Session IPA, 4.2% alcohol by volume. Diet, possibly. No, probably not. Smells nice. It's for a brown Oh, that's very nice. <laughs> yeah. I'd say, yeah, B++, it's good. Thank you, County Sligo. Okay. This is number six, 7.2% alcohol by volume. Brown and Skiolan. Probably not pronounced that way. 7.2%. 7.2%. Anyway, it's a tiny rebel glass. <coughs> Um, we have the same weather, and we're quite green apart from the cold tips. And it smells lovely. Ooh, slightly stronger. Maybe a hint of whiskey. That's a B. And a cracking glass. Back to the Netherlands. This is the American Pale Ale and it says brewed with blood orange grapefruit and sumac. Zesty citrus with slight bitterness and a malty finish. 4.5% alcohol by volume. Possibly diet. Possibly not. Still Irish. Gentle fruity aroma. Ooh. Very, very fruity. Sharp, great fruity. B. That is really nice. <coughs> 